Kia Kenya 2, Sajati Algeria 3, Kise Kenya 4, Bol Australia 5, Aaron Canada 6, Wanyonyi Kenya 7, Mula Algeria in 8. Five of these men hold major titles, major crowns. On Only one of them can stand on top of the two lap throne tonight. the men's 800 meters gets underway with a growing sense of anticipation career is the olympic champion starting second from the inside second from the right as we look at it there between the french Montreal and sajati but we haven't necessarily seen his best this season as he saved himself for the right time Mula holding his hands out there to the huge towering presence of aaron He's got himself out of danger. Watch for both of the Algerians on the second lap. They can finish really, really quickly. Pisa say. Out of danger, the Commonwealth champion up onto the shoulder of Peter Bond. No move yet from Korea. The Olympic champion is at the back. They take the bell. One of these men is 50 seconds away from a place in history. No Canadians ever won this title. Aarop is majestic out front. He's the Pan American champion. Tual is a little bit boxed on the inside in second place. Kisase and Korea trying to come wide for Kenya. Watch for the two Algerians. They can finish really, really quickly. Kisase in second. And Korea is now coming. Has the Olympic champion fooled us all? No fault to speak of all season. Aarox driving for the line. He'd love to be the first Canadian to win this. But Emmanuel Career is coming away. He's pushing. He's driving. The lactic acid is taking hold. But the Olympic champion becomes the world champion. And what a second place for Tajati. The Algerian came through for silver. But Emmanuel Career. Despite not breaking 145 all season, all of a sudden discovers the turn of speed that took him to the title in Tokyo. And it has swept all before him here in Eugene. 143.71. And Marco Aaron does become the first Canadian medalist in this event for 15 years. The majestic Canadian held on brilliantly for the bronze. But Korea takes gold for Kenya. The Olympic champion, adding to his rich list of titles. That was a magnificent run from him. Truly magnificent. At the crucial point of the season, he found his form. Well, they came through in a high 51, but it was Marco Aarop who said, I'm going to push that third 200, really make everybody hurt. And we talk about that, uh, that quote before you come out here. You know, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to hurt. And he made everybody hurt. He really made that race. And so I think down the home stretch, he, came, he became my sentimental favorite just, just to get a medal. Just measured that absolutely perfectly. And what a time to run a season best. So Jarty ran really well for the silver. He finishes so, so fast. And do you know what? If Korea hadn't been six foot three frame out of trouble, there you see him, he gets tangled up just a little. Mula really came charging in from the outside. And, oh, and there you see Aarop almost get tripped up at the beginning of this thing. But he likes to be out front. But this year he's been running from the back and he's been saving himself just a little bit. But I, he, just, he just couldn't resist himself as they went into that first lap to take the lead and pull these guys along. But look at this finish. The grit and determination by all of those guys is just absolutely evident. Wanyonyi wasn't far away from the podium. Aaron hung on really well for third. Wanyonyi still only 17. He was bidding to become the youngest medalist in the event's history. Aaron was really beginning to feel it here. You can see that massive stride was shortening. Sajati had the quickest momentum at this stage of the race Korea's head was rocking and rolling I've never seen him do that before he was in a, a world of pain but the pain turns to elation and relief as the Olympic champion became the world champion what is it they say sorry what is it they say about class being permanent 
the cream rises to the top. 400 meter runners moving up to the 800, 400 meter runners moving down to the two and the 100 meters. It's a crazy world right now. It's an upside down world. You get these quarter milers doing any, everything, going up, moving down. Emmanuel Career strikes at the perfect time this season. A wonderful performance, a second successive global crown after his Tokyo title. Sajati richly deserves the silver and Aaron, a moment of history for the Canadians with the bronze.